Hi, I'm Chef Alex, and welcome back to Caramel for My Niece Jessica, Part 2. So I didn't have enough battery to do the whole thing, all right? Here's the deal. It started to boil. Here we are. It's, uh, it's still clear, as you can see, still clear, untouched, except for right now that I just tilted the pan for you. Um, it's about to start turning color. So let me see if I can't uh, actually, I'll bring it up to the camera because the zoom really fades in, fades out the, the quality. But it's got about another minute or two to go. Figured you'd want to see the change. The, uh, the top starts to, you know, get a little foamy. The secret is not to touch this thing. Okay, you have this on for the duration that you have it on and you do not touch it. The only thing that you're, you're going to be doing is when it starts to change color is you're going to shake it a little bit to, to incorporate it. The color so the color doesn't uh, concentrate on one spot and burn. Because if that happens then you got to throw the whole thing out and start over. Okay, uh, sugar will burn. It'll go from brown to black in an instant, and it will be useless. And once it's and you have to be extremely careful with this stuff. This stuff will stick to your skin, and it will cause an instant third degree burn, and you'll end up in the hospital. Okay, so if you have animals or whatever, I suggest for the duration of the caramel, they go to the crate or a separate room or out in the yard, or wherever you want to put them. That's not next to the caramel. <laughs> Alright. Now, as you can see, it's starting to get foamy. Now, when you're going to make this the first couple of times, you're going to see that you're going to have, like, crystallized sugar on the side of the rims and stuff. Now, you can take a water with a little brush, some water and a little brush, and, and you can brush that down. And it won't affect anything if you don't touch it. And eventually the heat of the sugar will melt it. Uh, there are some, in some instances where it won't melt and you'll get a rock in there. Uh, your best bet is instantly to strain it out into a metal strainer. Right now it's starting to change color. The edge over here is starting darker amber. It's no longer clear. And what we're waiting for is a very dark amber. Like we have lights, different stages of amber. We have a light amber for flan and for creme caramel. And then we have a darker stage flan, uh, caramel um, for when you're adding cream and you're making specifically caramel sauce. So if, you're, if your sugar is, is a lighter brown, that's one thing. That's for one dessert. And then the darker it gets, it goes for different things. Okay. Now it's starting. Now it's amber completely. It's a very light amber. It's almost at the flan creme caramel stage. Which I personally would not do a flan or a creme caramel with, an, with a very dark um, sugar because it'll overpower the flavor of the dish. Those are very delicate dishes. So if you, if you overcook the sugar, you know, it's going to be really strong. See this color right here? That's the color of flan right there. Very, very light, almost just at the stage where it turns amber. Okay, now here you have to watch this really fast. Already it's changed into a second level of amber. And it just, and it was a second. As you can see, it's starting to change again. It's getting darker. And it gets darker like this as it gets hotter almost instantly. So you cannot walk away from this. All right. 
as you can see, I have nothing stuck to the sides. There's no crystallization. I haven't touched it. The only thing I've done is swirl the pan very gently. The pan has to be large, okay? This is key. The pan has to be large enough for when you pour your cream into the hot pan, it will not overflow, all right? Now, you can see it's starting to smoke and it's starting to get darker. Still not there. Turning off the heat because we got plenty of heat now. It's really close. Now the color of this will determine the color of your caramel. You can go with a lighter caramel or a darker caramel. Depends on how rich you want the flavor. I like a nice rich flavor. Almost burnt. So there we go. See, that's dark right there. Now we take it off the heat. And we're going to pour this in very gently. See what's happening? It wants to overflow. You don't want to let that happen. And whisking isn't going to stop it. The only thing that's going to stop this from overflowing is that you don't pour too much. Okay? So you're cooling it down, essentially. Now you pour a little bit more. You could do this over a sink. It'd be a lot safer. But as you can see, it's starting to cool down. So, we're pretty good. Now, here's the secret to this. If you have lumps or you have spots here, I think I have a spot somewhere down there. I can feel it. You can feel it because the cream will go down and the sugar will crystallize and it'll, it'll feel like candy lumps at the bottom. In this case, it did not do that very much. So, since we did it very slowly. And as you can see, the color is very rich. It's a very dark color. Let me get a spoon so you can see it. That's a proper caramel right there, okay? A nice dark brown, but not burnt. This is called caramel sauce. This is the caramel my niece loves. And I made it with love for you, baby. Enjoy.